welcome to It's a Date with me, Megan, of Loving Life is Megan. Some of you may already be familiar with my Instagram account and my YouTube channel, Loving Life is Megan. But in case you're not, over there I love to share all things homemaking and lifestyle related. Now this time of year is my absolute favorite though because I get to share all kinds of holiday homemaking content. So if you're interested in any of that kind of content, I would love to welcome you to my YouTube community and my Instagram. You can just follow me at Loving Loving Life is Megan. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of the fun holiday content that I will be sharing throughout the remainder of this year. But one thing that I thought would be so fun to share with you today is my passion for charcuterie boards. One of the best parts of the holiday season is holiday entertaining, family get-togethers, friendsgivings, and just all of those special gatherings where you can spend time and share food with your friends and family. Now, charcuterie boards have been such a trend over the last couple of years and for good reason. They are such a great way with minimal to low effort to entertain guests, share meals with friends and family, and also to introduce extra special foods that are high in nutrients and so good for you while tasting good at the same time. I love to get creative with my charcuterie boards and one of my favorite things to do is to incorporate dates. Now I know most people are going to think of berries and cheeses and meats and don't get me wrong, I absolutely use all of those things. But I feel like dates are such a staple for a holiday grazing board and a great filler for just filling in those little spaces and making the board come together. So I'm gonna show you how to create a simple but impactful holiday grazing board that you might be able to use for hosting Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, any kind of holiday entertaining you might be doing throughout this season, or even just an extra special event that you've been planning. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of the ingredients that I've gathered for this holiday grazing board, and then I'll show you step-by-step step how to put it all together. Now, of course, we don't want to ruin anyone's turkey dinner, so I'm not going to do anything too heavy here. Instead, I decided to focus this holiday grazing board as more of a cheese and fruit board. So I've gathered what I would consider the essentials and necessities for a beautiful holiday charcuterie board, including including a variety of fresh fruits and berries, specialty cheeses in different flavors and textures, a few pops of specialty deli cuts, including prosciutto and capicola, and the real star of the show dates. Now, if you have never tried dates before, you are truly missing out. They're essentially nature's candy. These ones are vegan, raw, gluten-free with no added sugar and the best source of fiber. Once you've gathered all of your ingredients, you may need to wash some produce, cut a few cheeses, but most of the bulk of the work is going to the grocery store, gathering your items, and then arranging them on your serving tray. So now I have all of my ingredients laid out and prepped and it's time to start assembling the board. Now I have this beautiful charcuterie board right here. It's a rectangular shape with rounded edges, beautiful handles on either side, and a little bit of a lip to prevent any of our ingredients from spilling over. I feel like this is the perfect size for a medium to large gathering of people, but you can totally use whatever board or serving tray that you have on hand. It doesn't have to be extra fancy, although these Acacia wood boards are great for really easy, simple cleanup and are non-toxic to any of the food items that you put on top of them. And we are going to start with the large items first. Now once I've got all of these larger ingredients like the grapes, half circles of my brie cheese, and quartered pomegranates, these are going to add a lot of height to our board and visual interest and kind of set the tone for how we are going to go about filling everything in. Now once all of these are out here on the board arranged as you would like, I'm gonna start adding in my special meats that complement. This is totally unnecessary. You could go for a strictly fruit and cheese board, but I thought that having Having this prosciutto and kappa would really add to the flavor profile here. These are very complementary to all of the fruits and cheeses that I'm going to be using today, but like I said, you could totally forego that. Mm -hmm. 
So now with all of my meats in place, I've got some prosciutto and some salamis just all around the board so that everybody can reach. I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of my cheeses. Now I've got some Gouda in here, some cheddar, and some Havarti cheeses, all great complements to the meat and fruit that we have on the board so far. So now that I've got all of that in place, I'm going to fill in some of these larger gaps with all of the rest of my fruits and berries. If you look closely, you'll have some small gaps like here and here, little areas here and in the corners that need to be filled with something special. And that's where our dates come into play. So I'm going to use these whole fresh dates to go ahead and fill in any of those gaps. Add some extra special height and texture to this board and be the focal point that people are going to grab for first. And here we are with our finished product. You'll notice that those dates did exactly what I needed, filling in all of those gaps and reassuring our guests that there is plenty for everyone, an abundance of food, and that they should not be shy about picking something off of our grazing board. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I love how this grazing board came out. I think this is some of my best work and it looks so beautiful and so yummy. But this is everything that I have to share with you today. I hope that you enjoyed coming along on this charcuterie journey with me, that I was able to share a ton of tips and tricks that you can implement into your holiday hosting just to elevate how you host your friends and family this year. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more ideas for how you can incorporate yummy dates into your daily diet and holiday festivities. But anyway, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and come back here again for another It's a Date.